Our students in Maine are back to in-person learning after a couple of chaotic years because of the pandemic, and many are still trying to catch up. Now one Maine school is leaning into a high-tech option to give kids a boost. News Center Maine's Caroline LaCour spoke with teachers in Guilford about what's new in the classroom. Seatbelts, everyone! Did you know that Main Street? It's a dream for many kids hopping on the magic school bus to be transported to a place not possible in reality. A cognitive neurologist, Peter Klein, once said that learning should be the best party in town because that's how it goes to long term memory. But despite the impossible, educators at Piscataquis Community Elementary School in Guilford found a way to do it using a virtual reality room. But you can do so much more with virtual reality. You can actually learn. You can do a lot with STEM. The 360 degree screen can be used to immerse students in a desert safari or even inside the human body. Usually you'd show something up on the screen and then you'd shut it down and then you'd, you know, have students look at different posters and but here it's all displayed. It's seamless. It all started in 2020 when the school wanted to create a space for kids to self-regulate if they were having a rough day. If a student was having a difficult time, they could come in here and you could have a scene of uh, an ocean and the beach. It wasn't until Principal Anita Wright realized the potential for learning that the classroom came to be. The school now has 700 lessons to load into the room and share with students. Third grader Logan Oaks says they've been a blast so far. We got to see like animals like in Savannah. We got to see some elephants and lions, a ton of lions. School leaders hope to use this as a way to build on existing units and broaden students' worldview when hurdles get in the way. Our students don't have a lot of access to travel and maybe some cultural pieces that kids from more rural or suburban areas. The school tells me they also hope to collaborate with businesses in the future to share on screen what goes on in different industries. The room will be having an official ribbon cutting for businesses to view the room on November 4th. Caroline LaCour, News Center, Maine.